bit of a property here that we want to prove. We have that the range of a linear transformation is a subspace of vector space W. So to begin here, we want to let T from V onto W be a linear transformation. And this, of course, is such that V and W are vector spaces. So if T is a linear transformation, we'll keep in mind here those two properties, that the transformation of vector U plus vector V is equal to the transformation of vector U plus the transformation of vector V, and that the transformation of a scalar multiple C times vector U is equal to the scalar multiple of that transformation. And this is for all vectors u and v in vector space v and for all scalars c. So in addition to this, since we want to show that the range of a linear transformation is a subspace of w, let's keep in mind that the, or the definition of range. So you know that the range of T is defined as the set of all images of vector x under the action of T in vector space W such that vector x is in V. So this is going to be particularly important as we begin to show that those three properties of a subspace are holding true here. So that being said, let's give ourselves plenty of room. And we know to show that the range is a subspace, we have three properties we need to prove. So the first being we need to show that the zero vector is in W. And so we can say for some zero vector in V, we know by definition that the transformation of the zero vector is in W. So then by definition of a linear transformation, we have that the transformation of the zero vector is equal to the zero vector, which is in W, which is what we wanted to show. So we have confirmed here that the zero vector is existing in the set. Next, we need to show that set W is closed under addition. So we can say that for all vectors X and Y in set V, that the transformation of vector X and the transformation of vector Y are in W. Furthermore, by definition of a linear transformation, we can show that the transformation of vector x plus the transformation of vector y is equal to the transformation of the sum of these two vectors, which is in w. So therefore, since the transformation of vector x plus vector y is in W. W is closed under addition. And we have our second property holding true. And last but not least here, we need to also show that this is closed under multiplication or scalar multiplication. So we can say that for all vector x in V, the transformation of vector x is in W by definition. And we'll let C here be any scalar we want, restricting ourselves to the reals. So if we let scalar C times vector x be in vector space V, 
then the transformation of scalar c times vector x is in w. And again, by definition of a linear transformation, the transformation of a scalar multiple c times vector x is equal to that scalar multiple of the transformation, which we know is in w. So therefore, Since the scalar multiple of the image of vector x under the action of t is in w, then w is closed under scalar multiplication. And we have shown that our third and final case is holding true. So therefore, since all three properties are met, we can conclude that the range is a subspace, that the range is a subspace of W.